Good evening, students. Myself, Ajay Gupta, and you are watching Biology Classes. In this tutorial video, we are going to study about the mitochondria. As we know, mitochondria are found in the plant cell as well as animal cell. It is also known as powerhouse of the cell because it provides energy. Now, mitochondria is the second largest cell organelle, as I told you before, the first largest cell organelle is chloroplast or plastics and mitochondria is the second largest cell organelle. Now, if we see the history of mitochondria, then there are three scientists which contribute in the history of, in the discovery of mitochondria. At first, in 1880, a scientist Kolliker discovered the mitochondria first. After that, a scientist Altman in, 19, in 1890 gave the name bioblast and finally, in 1897, C. Benga proposed the name mitochondria. So, there are total three scientists. 1880, Kolliker discovered the mitochondria. 1890, Altman gave the name bioblast. And finally, C. Benga gave the name mitochondria in 1897. It was the history of mitochondria. Now, if we see the structure of mitochondria, the electron microscopic structure of mitochondria, then we can understand with the help of a diagram. Now, in this diagram, you may see that mitochondria is a rod shaped structure. It is sometimes it may be oval shaped or rounded in shape, but generally it is a rod shaped cell organelle bounded by two membranes. These are two membranes, and outer side, the outer membrane is present, while the inner side, the inner membrane is present. Now, the inner membrane, you may see the inner membrane projects some finger like projections. The inner membrane produces some finger-like projections which are known as cristae. So, as I told you, there are total two membranes. The outer one is known as outer membrane, while the inner is known as inner membrane. And the inner membrane produces finger-like projections which are termed as cristae. This plays very important role in the production of energy. On the corners of cristae, apple particles or oxisomes are present. You may see that there is a tiny particles present on the surface of Christi. These tiny particles are termed as apple particles or oxisome and they play a very important role in energy production. After that, inside the mitochondria, a dark jelly-like liquid is filled that is often termed as matrix or also known as mitochondrial matrix. Some amount of DNA and ribosomes are also present in the mitochondrial matrix. Now, it was the structure of mitochondria. After that, we are going to discuss about the functions of mitochondria. But before the functions, I would like to tell you a detailed structure of a crystal. Here you uh, can see that it's a single crystal which is uh, shown with orange color. This is the crystal and it consists of tiny particles also known as apple particles or oxisome at their core. Now, what about the functions of mitochondria? The main function of mitochondria is to produce energy. As we know that we require energy for any work. So, this energy produces inside the mitochondria in the form of ATP. That's why mitochondria is known as powerhouse of the cell. In this video, it was all about the mitochondria. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.